And welcome <laughs> to we're in. <laughs> we're in. Welcome to <sighs> another Autobright podcast. And it's recorded this time. It's recorded. Cool. It's recorded. It's been a while. It's been a while. Welcome everyone to uh to another podcast. We've got lots and lots of things to uh, get through today. I'm on that camera, you're on that one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't so, the wrong camera. Where yeah. have we been? What have we been doing? What's what's been happening? Well, I, I was Stuff. off on the last podcast. You were off? Yeah. I was uh, hob- hobbling around. I can't say you were missed. <laughs> that was uh, the, one, <laughs> you know, the one you did with Dan, I think, the last podcast. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So you were off. That was a while ago. Yeah. That was, yeah, that was, well. Okay. In February. Yeah. January, February. Uh, <clears throat> We've been busy. You've been... You haven't been out, have so you? it's been six months since this last podcast. That's ridiculous. What have you been doing? Stuff. Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You haven't been ill, have you? You've, you've been fine. I haven't been ill, no. 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 I'm okay. Well. Oh, the rest of you are. I've, I've had COVID. I'm, I'm no fine. No one cares. <laughs> COVID ne- isn't a thing anymore. I, I'm a negative. Uh, are you a, negative? He had a bit of a cold. No, I'm not. <laughs> You had a sniffle. Yeah, yeah, you're still coughing your guts up there, aren't you? Yeah, COVID, horrible. Started laying the groundwork after his holiday, and then, oh, too, 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 too well, come in. Hit me like a train, that COVID did, I tell you. I feel like Swiss COVID. Yeah. Why, was that, why was it weird? No, no, it was Matthew COVID. Ah, uh, okay, that's definitely weird, son. <clears throat> Cut it off my young lad. Yeah. Anyway. So you catch everything off kids. So we've got a lot to talk about today. Yeah, we have, yeah. So we're back now for another podcast, and it's been a while. We've got a lot to get through. So uh, grab a brew. Sit down and enjoy. Yes, I'm gonna bring. Or sit down and listen. Whatever you want to. Yeah. Whatever you want to do. Right. Uh, whatever you're listening. You've got uh, quite a few things on that pad of yours, Kev. Yeah. Can you see it upside down? No, I can't. <laughs> so we do on, a what's... podcast. You ain't got a clue what we're talking about. Oh no, you're, that's your department now. So. <laughs> uh, on, yeah. uh, somebody kick in. So new website then first. Um, yes. If you don't know. We've had a new website. We've uh, swapped over to Shopify. Yeah, we're on yeah. Shopify. Platform now. change. Um, we did, as normal, have a few teething problems, but it's all sorted now. Yeah, Shopify is really good. Conversions and whatnot. Yeah. Nice, <clears throat> clean, tidy website. Mm-hmm. User-friendly. Yeah, you can do a lot of uh, other stuff with Shopify as well. Yeah, a lot a lot of automations of, and stuff. And yeah. Obviously, the back end's really easy to work with as well. Yeah. Yeah. Compared to that shambles we had before. <laughs> That was shocking towards the end, that one. Yeah, yeah, it was very difficult to work with. Anyway, um, well, yeah, so new website, so yep. lots of things uh, coming on the new website. Uh, to be honest, this it, it looks really good now because yep. you've got a lot of services on there. Uh, you've got uh, a lot of information. You've got a lot of trading on there. So there's a lot of information that you can... And we're still adding to it. We've got like, information videos coming up and <laughs> yeah, stuff yeah. on it, aren't we? So, mm-hmm. yeah, so it's, uh, it's a good website. It's clean. It's fast. And we've actually got a map Ooh. on there that works now that helps us locate stockists and approve yeah, details. Yeah. And yeah. that was one of the main issues with the with the other website was that we could never get the map to work correctly, no matter no, what we did. No matter, it wouldn't it didn't seem to want to show anything, yeah. did it? No. We've had a new point system now. Yeah, called Bright Coins. Coins. <laughs> called Bright Coins. Yeah. Yeah, uh, not Bitcoin. No, not Bright Bitcoin. Coin. Uh, Bright Coins. Yeah. So it's a it's a point system, loyalty point system on the website where you can. You can earn points from, you know, if you want to recommend a friend, uh, yep. if, share if on you've got social. a birthday, share, whatever. Else you're you, pitching as well. You're pitching as well. Yep. You can, you can uh, earn your Sign points. up if you sign up, if you aren't already, <laughs> yep. you know, account holder. If you sign up, you, you get points, points that for way, that. Yep. So mm-hmm. lots of different ways to there is. There get there discounts. Is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, all the, our customers are transferred from, uh, on, from the old site to the new one. So if you're having any difficulty to log in, just throw us an email and we'll, We'll sort it for you. Yeah, it's a slight. I mean, just for for anybody watching who's on the new website, there's a slight different way to the way <coughs> these loads of points work compared to the old site. So, a lot of people have sort of emailed me or asked me where they can find their um, bright coin allocation. So it's not in the checkout. So your bright coins are in the lower left hand corner of the main homepage. So if you <coughs> click on that, that'll actually tell you how many points are in your account. If you want to redeem them, you can redeem them from that menu and that will then give you a code which then is entered during checkout. So you check on the, your points first. If you want to redeem them for your purchase, redeem them in that pop-up and that will take you through to checkout and it will knock you the discount off at the end. Good. It's a lot to, lot sim- simpler. Yeah, it's, it's as simple when you know where it is and obviously how to, to navigate it. <clears throat> um, but obviously it's slightly different than the old way of doing it. So. Yeah. yeah. Cool. 
Great. The website. That was awesome. Dick. Nice. It, it was awesome. It took us a while to get there, but yeah, we got there eventually. Yeah, well, it's like anything least. new though, and it's you always have a few teething problems. Yeah, but it's all ironed out now. <clears throat> yeah, we always have issues, don't we? But, uh, but all on the done. So. Yep. Right then. So on the uh, okay, so on the the thread of new things then. <sighs> yeah, some new products that we've had introduced recently. Yeah, we've uh, we've introduced some new. Uh, two of me new, but exciting yep. compounds. Yep, so polishing compounds. Polishing compounds. We've been with that polishing compounds for quite a while again, prior, prior to this sort of website changeover. Why is that then, Kev, do you think? Because we were reworking them, and we were reformulating and re-engineering them. So, yep. you know, one of the main, so one of the, the most popular compounds that we've done, and probably one of the most popular compounds with detailers and enthusiasts in general is Enrich which is our medium cut compound. Um, Enrich was always a fantastic product, but we thought while we're actually looking at the compound range, um, <clears> obviously it used to be called the Corrective range, we've now changed that, they're now standalone compounds. But while we were doing that, we thought we would take a look at Enrich, see if we could improve it, um, see if we could make it better, easier to use, you know, more um, abrasive, but without losing that uh, finishing ability. Um, exhaustive testing we went through loads and loads of different versions and then came to the conclusion that we actually couldn't improve it so <laughs> the enrich that we have now is perfection. is the enrich that you've always known and always loved yeah. to be fair so yep yeah, all that development mm. and we decided that it wasn't we couldn't make it any better no no so enrich is uh, original enrich and it's just just fabulous yeah really. It's a, it's I a think a lot of the, product. you know, quite a lot of that came from customer feedback as well. Yeah, yeah. So a lot of people we spoke to when we were, you know, canvassing for opinions about Enrich, there wasn't many people that said... Why are you changing Enrich? You know, it's perfect. Yeah, <laughs> any sort of, you know, yeah. tangible way we could improve that. So we kept Enrich the same. We did, however, look at, you know, feedback and um, things that we could change within the other compounds in the range. So obviously we used to have Restore, yeah. which is our heavy cut compound, We've now changed that, so we now have UltraCut, which is our heavy cut compound. Mm -hmm. UltraCut is more abrasive than Restore, so one of the um, sort of major things that we thought with Restore was we wanted something that was a bit more abrasive. It wasn't quite as capable as we would have liked it, so we've <coughs> deformulated, come back with a new improved uh, abrasive, <clears throat> but it still refines down quite nicely as well. Yeah. Because that was the feedback we had from from our customers, wasn't it? There wasn't much difference between... In, in yeah, there wasn't restore. much of a gap between Enrich and Restore. I mean, obviously, you can change that by changing pads. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so you can use your pads as sort of like half gears to get that little bit of extra cut. Um, but from a compound-only standpoint, we wanted to improve <clears> it and make it more, more abrasive uh, and, you know, give yourself a quicker cut mm -hmm. and more capability, basically. And we have. And we have, so yeah, so you've got Enrich and Ultra Cut, which is your middle and your heavy cut. And then we also now have our, what we would normally class as like a lower end of the scale. So we used to do Final Finish, which was like a finishing um, polish, hologram remover, that type of thing. It was real light abrasives, but really high gloss levels. Um, and again, that's another product that we looked at and thought, well, we can't really improve it in terms of giving it more abrasive because obviously that would defeat the, the point of having a finishing polish. Um, so we looked at, you know, what else can we do with it? And we decided to add a, an SiO2 ceramic-based protection. Mm -hmm. So <clears> you've <throat> now got a polish that will give you a, a light cut, but is also actually now capable of going a little bit further than Final Finish ever did. So you can actually use it to remove swirls and, and minor defects, but it will also leave up to three months protection. Gloss levels are amazing. Um, and it's been really, really popular. Mm -hmm. um, it's a product I think we were a little bit maybe unsure of at first because we weren't actually sure where it would fit and, you know, what sort of <coughs> customer would use it. But we've had really, really positive feedback. Yeah, we have. Um, and a lot of people are now using that as a, as a one step, which is roughly where we were sort of aiming at anyway. Yeah. <coughs> um, but, yeah, so now you've got a full range of three compounds, two brand new ones, one old favourite, and obviously, we've brought out a range of new pads to to complement yeah, as well. Yeah, but uh, <coughs> uh, they're all good. Uh, slightly different from the old pads. There's no slightly different format. No interface on there. Yeah, so they are a straight pad to 
backing, so there's no foam interfacing there. Um, and there's slightly different colours. So obviously we used to do black, green, and orange. Now we've got white, green, and yellow. Yeah, yellow being the most. Yellow being the most aggressive. Yeah. yeah, and obviously we also still do the, the hybrid wool pad as well. <coughs> so if you need that extra little bit of cut, you can go with the wool pad. Um, but using something like Enrich, if you want a little, a little bit of extra cut, go with the yellow. Yeah. So, and even though these polishes are mainly aimed at machines, you can still use them by hand, can't you? Yeah, you can still, can still use them by hand. Um, I mean, like any sort of machine compound or any sort of abrasive polish, you obviously need to add a little bit of elbow grease to, you know, effectively... What's, what's that? Well, yeah, you know... Good old-fashioned uh, elbow grease. <laughs> elbow grease uh, to effectively <laughs> remove them by hand. But, yeah, they are capable of polishing, polishing it up nicely, uh, especially um, correct and protect, which is the, the lower end of the scale. Um, that works really well by hand as well. Perfect. Cool. So, a brand new range. Uh, and we, we're just getting great feedback, aren't we? Yeah. From the range. Yeah, yeah. It's just so, new compounds, new pads, new label design as well on the compounds. Mm. So, you know, for any of you guys that have actually seen them or bought them, you'll see that the label is mm. a big departure from what we've done in the past. Um, part of that was necessitated by the fact that we are changing them from the corrected range to standalone compounds. But we also wanted to give them a refresh. And, you know, all we need now is our own machine back, Mark. The what, sorry? Our own machines back. What machines? Our own AD machines. Polishing machines. Mm, we do, don't, don't we? I thought you were talking about <laughs> coffee machines, huh? <laughs> no, no, I thought, I'm thinking, what machines? machines are you on about? Coffee machines. <laughs> yeah, we do. We, we, uh, yeah, we do. We need some uh, AD mm. polishers back. We do. We're on it. We're on it. We're on it. Yeah, we're on it. We're in discussion. You heard it here first. On, on it like a car bonnet. He said it now, so yeah. it's binding. No, I mean, are. again, you know, maybe... <clears throat> We'll give, we'll give the guys a little bit of information. So we stopped doing our corded versions a while ago because we were looking into the possibility of machi uh, cordless machines, weren't we? Um, we tested a few. So if you remember the last time we were at Waxstock, we took a few with us, mm -hmm. got some good feedback. Um, however, we just found that at the moment, the, the battery technology isn't really there. Um, so Very expensive as well. Yeah, I mean, they're very expensive, expensive. for us to get in, which obviously then translates to being expensive for the end user. So um, we sort of rekindle our friendship with Flex, didn't we? And brought some Flex machines in, mm -hmm. which would fill the gap a little bit. Um, I mean, obviously the Flexes are maybe a little bit expensive for some of the you know, <coughs> the enthusiasts or the, the weekend warrior sort of people, um, but they are a good quality machine. So if you are a pro, you know, getting a Flex does yeah. make sense because yeah, they does, will yeah. last you. You've got really good warranty on their batteries as well. Mm -hmm. uh, the battery technology is really good. <clears throat> uh, you know, temperature control charge and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so the Flex is a really good machines. But we are looking now at obviously catering to the, the enthusiasts and the, you know, the weekend guys who don't want to spend three, four hundred pound upwards this on a machine polish. You know, Flex, Flex are great, great machines, great company. But, you know, for the weekend warrior, you know, yeah. doesn't want to spend five, six hundred pound on a machine. It can be out of budget, yeah. When he only uses it once, twice a year, mm -hmm. you know, so it's... Uh, so, yeah, so we are looking at a couple of different, yeah, you know, different updated options. versions of, um, you know, previous machines. So, like, you know, 15 mil throw, maybe, um, DA, maybe a small entry-level one as well. Maybe. Cool. Excellent. Excellent. So it's all coming together. It's all coming together. Right, what's the next thing we want to talk about? Well, <clears throat> I mean, so carry have you on got the, summit, or the, do you want me to carry on with well, we've the done new a, theme? Well, we've done uh, some... The formulations of products, haven't we? Yes. Talk about that then. You're the product <laughs> development manager. <coughs> Would you like to uh, So, yeah, we've uh, reformulated our ceramic shampoo, haven't we? And that was through a lot of feedback that you guys gave us. We had a lot of uh, feedback from the ceramic shampoo. You know, there was uh, quite a few things that we wanted to change that weren't working uh, as, as we well wanted, as they could. As, as well as they could, as we wanted to. So we took all that feedback on board, uh, and it's certainly a lot easier product to use now, mm -hmm. and it gives a lot better results as well. Yeah, so we basically reformulated. One of the, the main sort of negatives or criticisms that we had with the original sh ceramic shampoo was it was extremely thick. Yeah. Now, obviously, thickness in a shampoo a lot of the time that can actually be a benefit because it gives you increased lubrication while you're washing. So less chance of marring and, you know, scratching and things like that. However, with ceramic shampoo, because we had gone with um, a really high concentration of ceramic solids in there, 
to give you that performance and that protection, it actually hindered it, especially in cold weather. So that was one of the things we wanted to address, which would make that easier then to add into your bucket and to dilute. So it makes it a more usable product. Um, we also wanted to look at, obviously, the protection. So we didn't want to uh, change the formulation, but compromise the mm. ability of the product the to, actually does. you know, give protection and, <clears throat> you know, that wow factor of how it repels water. Uh, the other thing we wanted to improve as well was the foaming ability. Yeah. So again, most ceramic shampoo products on the market, so not just ours, there's a lot out there that don't offer a high level of foam. And a lot of them do ask you to... If you want to increase the amount of foam, add a little bit of, you know, your favourite shampoo so you can use another shampoo in mixed in with, there with it. But obviously what we wanted to do was try and see if by reformulating we could not only make it easier to use but make it more foamy. Yeah. Um, again, we said with the other ceramic shampoo, foam isn't necessarily, it's not a necessity in a shampoo. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be foamy. It doesn't have to be bubbly. As long as the lubrication's there, it will work perfectly fine, mm -hmm. but it makes everyone feel a bit better. Yeah. So this new version <clears throat> does give you foam. And it's a, it's a, it really is a good product. You know, it's, uh, it's obviously a lot thinner than the, the old. Yeah, it is a lot thinner. Formula. So, you know, you, you will notice that straight away. As soon yeah, as you compare away. it to the old one, it's considerably thinner. Yeah. But that thinness doesn't harm the way the product works. No. If anything, it actually benefits you because yeah. it is easier to mix. It is easier to use. Um, and obviously you can use it all through the year now. Yeah, You're not going to have issues with using it in winter. Yeah. Water behaviour, hydrophobic, it's just brilliant. Yeah, and really you can still really do good. the same application. So you can <clears throat> put it in your bucket, you can put it direct to mitt, you can even now apply it through a foam lance because obviously it's a thinner product. There's no risk of, you know, blocking your lance or anything like that. So through a foam lance, it works really well as a spray on, rinse off, sort of quick sealant as well. Yeah. Um, but no, I think, you know, the, the feedback that we've had, I think it's been really positive. Yeah. Yeah. And that's part of a sort of a, bride, a, a wider range of um, product reformulations that we're going to be looking at over the next 12 months. Yeah. Definitely. To make things easier, to, you know, to make things um, more concentrated, more dilutable. So, you know, better yeah, value for the friendly. end user. Yeah, better value for the end user. Um, also, it makes it easier for us as well to come out with new products. So, yeah, quite a few things we're looking at. Yeah. And obviously, as well, we've had the fresh scents. Yeah, we bought them back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we forgot to put them on the on the thingy. On the it says, uh, it says fresh oh, scents oh, on okay. the compounds. Yeah. Fresh scents. It's hard to read upside down, isn't it? Yeah, it is. I love the fresh scents and uh, the fragrances. The fragrances that we bought out. Well, then name name the scents what we got. Chica cherry, very vanilla, new car, opium noir, banana blitz, snow angel. Saffron sandalwood. Saffron, saffron sandalwood and one more. One more. Creed. Creed. There you go. <laughs> oh, I was close. My favourite one, I think. My favourite one. I've got a couple to be honest. The banana. I love the banana. I love banana smelling stuff anyway. But I think the opium. The opium. That's yeah, my like, favourite. I, like that. I like that one. Because that is yeah. that's incredible. That is. That's yeah. my favourite. Even though it's you know <clears throat> technically supposed to be a, a lady's it's perfume. A perfume, I know. It's, but it, it is one of the nicer smells. Yeah. I mean, yeah, new car is fantastic because it's yeah. you know everyone loves new car yeah, smell. I like that one as well. Creed um, as well. Creed's Creed's popular as well. Yeah, you know, but it's saffron yeah. sandalwood is surprisingly. I think it sounds a little bit, mm, but it's surprisingly nice. Very nice, and it's quite a. If you don't like a really strong smell in your car, yeah, it's, it's a manly nice, smell. Kurt. It's a nice subtle smell, isn't it? So you know you can spray it in your car. It's not overpowering. It gives you that you know yeah. sort of relaxing sort of yeah. atmosphere. Mm. So for those who haven't got a clue what the fresh scents are, uh, the fresh scents they are they are little air fresheners, hundred mils. We bought them out many many years ago uh, in various different fragrances. Uh, and then we, we got rid of them, didn't we? We kind of we yeah. So it was a revisit, wasn't it? Basically, we yeah. were we were talking about air fresh and stuff, and how we were reminiscing about the fresh scents, and we thought, well, why not bring them back yeah. and give them a you know a modern twist? Yeah, which is uh, exactly what we've done. And they look great, little white bottles, great labels. They smell wonderful. Labels are really good. Yeah, uh, and you know, as air fresheners go, they they last a long time. Yeah. Before. So obviously, all premium fragrances. So we use premium 
fragrance grade oils that you would use in you know aftershaves and perfumes yep. and things and compacts so you can keep them in your glove box uh, yep so we want to top up we wanted to keep them small because it's easy to keep them in your car <clears throat> um we have been asked a few times by a few different people now if we're going to do bigger sizes so we've sort of if and are and we're not sure yet but keeping them in your car is really easy with the smaller bottles um also obviously they're all made in-house in as house. well so you know me and will sort of <laughs> Take it in turns. Uh, Will really likes making fresh scents. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> get get by some more so we can get Will making some more. Yeah, well, when he lives for it. He does. One of you guys are making it, though. It just fills the way. Oh, yeah, it smells of, amazing. It's just um, Maybe not so nice once you've mixed all of them together in one, in one enclosed space yeah, for a while. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know. Come on with a massive headache, Gav. Yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a couple of other fragrances in the pipeline as well. Mm. So, it, yep. I don't know about that. Good. <laughs> need to know basis yeah and you That's, don't need to know yeah yeah uh, so yeah we've uh, yeah there's a couple of others in the pipeline but they're only four pound fifty yep at the minute and if you buy if you buy <laughs> all eight of them you get 15 percent off yep Am I right? yeah. yeah and we also do i think a four, four for ten percent for ten percent yeah so, so that's make, on that's on the website yeah make sure you grab yours yeah uh, do i do really recommend the opium yeah, Opium Noir, if yeah, you like banana nice smells. Banana yeah. Blitz. Banana's great as well. And a cherry. <laughs> <And> cherry, yeah. <laughs> just all of them, basically. And Creed. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. So, yeah, that's Fresh Sense. Well, yep. Moving on to something, uh, another new product. Or new so, product, yeah. New products. Um, you might remember we put a post out on social about a week ago. Um, basically, getting a little bit of feedback from you guys as to whether you thought... Waxing or well, wax is now a, a dead. Do you wax, Gav? <laughs> Depends <laughs> on, only in summer <laughs> when it's mankini season. I don't want to oh. know. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. You don't want to imagine Kev in a mankini. <laughs> so, he, is he green, Kev? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> luminous green. Oh, well, the back green. isn't there. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so waxes. So, we put a post out asking if you thought wax was dead. Uh, and surprisingly, we've got an overwhelming response of a lot of people saying no. I don't think wax I don't is think dead. Wax is dead. I love no. wax. Not a chance. There's, you'd be well. We were surprised. We're, yeah, we were yeah, surprised we were. How many people actually like to wax? We assume that now, you know, especially in sort of this day and age where people have got limited time, and you know, everything wants everyone wants a quick fix, don't they? Yeah. That things like spray and rinse sealants, and you know, magic seals and like stuff hard like coats that. and stuff like that, oh, would yeah. be you know more popular than waxes. But a lot yeah. of people have said that they enjoy the experience of waxing, they enjoy the process, they like... Therapeutic, isn't the it? Little bit, yeah, the little bit of free time they get to themselves. Um, I think it is, isn't it? It's, you know, it's in the garage on a Sunday. Yeah, uh, there's nothing better than waxing I mean, we said this a few times, whatever, we? whatever you've got, turning back round and looking at it. And for me, <clears throat> gloss is always far yeah, better. Yeah, the it smell probably isn't, but it looks better to me. Yeah, yeah. The smell of the wax, you know, it's all over your fingers and whatever. And it, it's just a nice... I suppose you use an applicator, not your fingers. Yeah. Wow. Well, yeah, somebody did used to use the hammer, didn't they? Uh, well, yeah, yeah, that was it. Yeah. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I just find it all therapeutic. And, you know, uh, depending on the wax as well, the gloss level, yeah. mm-hmm. the protection it gives. I just think it's... I know sealants are a quick fix, and they are really, really good, but... Waxes wax is so easy to use. Can't beat a wax. Just so yeah, mo- use, modern man. waxes now are a lot easier to use than they used to be. It's I mean, like years ago, where yeah. you just have to ch- if you left it on, chisel them off, <laughs> chisel it off. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> and you yeah. get that powdery residue because you know they'd have like polishes in there and it dry and you know yeah. you can't get it on this, you can't get it on that. There's loads of yeah. loads of issues with old school yeah. style yeah. waxes, and the smell on the old waxes was horrendous. Well, it's just petrochemical, wasn't it? You know, yeah. You get really but, oh, new waxes smell amazing. They do. Sorry, what was that, Dale? New what? waxes. Oh, new waxes. Kev. Cat out of the bag, then. Carry on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so we, we looked at what your feedback was <laughs> and we decided that we were going to reintroduce some waxes. Mm. Now, again, we had waxes out a while ago, so we did the blends waxes. Mm. Um, we had about five or six different varieties. Yeah, yeah probably too many. Too so, much. yeah, so we think that the choice and the, you know, the, the actual difference between the waxes... Overwhelming, wasn't it? It's a little, yeah, a little bit overwhelming. So we've simplified it, um, and we're now going to bring back three blends waxes. Are we telling them what they are? 
No, I think we should. Reece Mark Kelly. Really? I think. I think. No, I think. No, no, I think we should leave that. Yeah, I think we should leave it. Yeah. Three blends of waxes. Yeah, that's all. Coming soon. Yeah. They are really, really good. Great. And they've been uh, been working on on a while. We have, yeah. So, you know, we've tested (laughs) applications really easy. You know, gloss is great and smells are amazing. As go. is everything just lately. Everything smells amazing. I know. Well, here. we're all surprised. You don't smell amazing, Kelly. <laughs> I was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> so yeah, open the door. You're for the only you thing then. that an AD that doesn't smell amazing. I'm sorry, Kelly. I'd have to agree. Well, with maybe that. maybe purple vein. <laughs> no, Kev's worse. <laughs> <laughs> I take pride. Do you? You would be proud of that one, Kev. So, <clears throat> in terms of new products, then uh, that's me done for now. So I'll let you come out with some of your little well, why me? tidbits. Because you're the only other one with a notepad. <coughs> well, Mark doesn't come prepared, does he? I don't no, know. I just he just f- rides on everybody Mark, else's notes. Go with the flow. Well, I think we'll break it up a bit and on, let's then. hear about Mark's trip. Uh, yeah. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Never changes, does he? Never changes. Well, get make yourself a cup of tea now. Like, this is the time. Get make yourself Forget a Forget these two. Just take So what, it was two. good, though, because he ended up being away for three weeks. Yeah, and that was because he got a cold. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> ignore these two. I went on a trip around uh, the Swiss Alps into Italy. So we started uh, through France, into Germany on the Autobahn. Uh, I'm sure he kept it to 70 mile an hour. I did not keep it to 70 mile an hour at all. <laughs> I did whatever that car let me to do, let me do. Which, 90 then. Which, which car were you? I was in the M5, which is you, a lot. You didn't go in the Mini then this time? No, no, no. no, no How no, many no, of you went? Uh, there was about, I think there was eight of us, I think different cars we had a really really good time saw some great places uh the swiss alps if you've got the chance to go i know you, you i'd be on my bike if i went bike yeah uh, if you got the chance to go then you need to go because they're incredible uh, some of the things that we saw was, was really good so we did uh, a week touring and then uh, i come back and i got covid so Boom. A week touring and two weeks recovering. Two weeks recovering, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, so that didn't go down too well. <laughs> and I didn't get it from Swiss, well, Germany, or wherever I was. I got it from my son when I got back because he got it. That's because he'd missed you, so he Thanks thought he'd give you that. a present when you got back. Yeah, so I, was, I had a cold cab, but I still come in work. Yeah. yeah, maybe you should give it to everybody else. <laughs> he probably did. Maybe yeah. did. You passed it on to Matty, maybe. Yeah. Matt already had it when I come back. <clears throat> so, yeah, it was good. It was a good trip. Uh, We'll probably do one next year as well, but uh, it, it was really good. Really, uh, just loads of idiots running around in cars, fast cars, around Germany. And um, we've got three of the cars in the bay, or we had last week, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, we, yeah, there's there's three guys that have got the three Yaris GRs, and they went with us as well. So uh, there was Porsches, there was my M5, there were two M5s. So, yeah, there was a good mix of cars. It was really good because... Uh, what was, the, what was the fastest you went? Don't listen, Jill. Oh, I was 71, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, on the Autobahn, it was under... Whatever, whatever the rev limiter was on the car, basically, the, the speed 60, limiter. 160 mile an hour, I think, on the Autobahn. Uh, so, yeah. Is that what yours is limited to? 160, yeah, 160 mile. 165 miles <coughs> limited. I hit the limiter anyway. Well, if you take the limiter off... I didn't dare look at the clock, yeah, over, two, over 200, aren't they, basically? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I just put down, and all of a sudden, it was just, <laughs> just slowed down, I thought. You hit the wall. <laughs> hit the wall. <coughs> uh, but it was funny because three lads, uh, they were messing around. Yeah, I'm sure you weren't messing around at all. No, really. no, no. Well, I was in front, I was fine. Mm. These were messing around and they were racing, they're doing what lads do, and they got caught by the German police and they got pulled over. Uh, and they got a hundred euro fine, all of them. And the license is nearly taken off them as well. So if you if you're touring in Switzerland, Germany, whatever, just just be, be careful. Don't be... Uh, don't zero be, tolerance don't for... Be, yeah, zero. Numpties. You don't mess with the, the German police, I tell you. Yeah. Uh, lots of nine. cameras over there. Loads. Is it? You have to watch what, you, what you're doing, yeah. But when you get on the Autobahn, that's when you you just go then. But everywhere else, it's just cameras and police and, yeah. You watch out for the trucks pulling out on you when you're doing 150. Switzerland is the worst. The yeah, they're they're that's because the Swiss hate cars. Yeah, yeah. Switzerland are, are the way. Swi- the Swiss police, if they if they stop you, you know, they can, I, I think there's a story floating around now where there was there was three supercars that went travelling, uh, and they got caught speeding, doing you know silly speeds, and apparently the cars got crushed. Well, the cars are waiting to be crushed. And a massive fine, license yeah. license to come off them as 
Well. Don't they? I've, I mean, I don't know how true it is, but I've heard the on the spot fine. So they oh, the, do. yeah, oh yeah. If you can't pay, a lot of um, I think a lot of European police forces do that, don't they? Well, like the French card do it. reader, and yeah, just Fre- French do, do it yeah. as well. well. That's what the lads did when they got caught. It was hundred euros, hundred euros each, but it was like ka ching. Right. But they take your licenses off you, you know, and they keep them. So you think, oh no, you're going to keep my license, but they keep your license, and then you pay your money, and then they give you your back. You see, so they make you sweat. So you're paying them hundred euros each, and then they make you sweat. So you're paying me hundred euros because you're feeling relieved that you get your license yeah. back. And yeah, yeah, so you very slowly crawl out of the country. Well, you're glad to pay the hundred euros just to get your license back. Yeah, yeah that's, yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. it is. Uh, so did it uh, calm him down after that? No. <laughs> <laughs> that well, hundred euros goes to the policeman's benefit at the end. Oh, that, of was, that was paying for the dinner at the. You yeah. Know, yeah, that's his own bank account. That was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But, God, we did for them, one for me. That's it. It was, it was good, though. It was interesting. It was, uh, yeah, we, we saw some great places, to be honest. I'd say Switzerland was the best. Uh, you know that hotel? I forget what, what, it, what it's called on the Swiss Alps. There's a the hotel one that's right on the bend. On the bend there. Though that's, that's it's not open anymore. Uh, I think it's derelicts, but that is a really good spot there. Everybody stops there. Uh, you know, photos of that hotel, car in front of I wonder of if the hotel's not open anymore because there's no parking. Well, oh, there is. On a bend. No, there is. There's a massive car park. No, there is. Yeah, there's. It's huge. So I don't know why. Well, maybe that, people that got fed a... up of people in fast, loud cars driving maybe. past them. Maybe when they're trying to keep. Maybe it was just dangerous. I don't know, but uh, it's a tourist trap. That is. There's mm. loads of tourists. So, so I don't know why. I don't know why it's shut up. Maybe it's <clears> seasonal. <throat> maybe. Because yeah. you got snow over there, don't you? Yeah, 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 yeah maybe. I'm guessing that road's probably impassable if it snows. Probably. That's probably what. Kill it off. So they're all right with tourists in Switzerland, then. As long as you don't speed. I like Spanish. No, 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 they're fine. No, they're all good. French. Can't discriminate, Kev. The the the, the French. Uh, the Euros. <laughs> the, the, <laughs> well, I wasn't thinking of that, but you know. The French police, uh, you know, not not. The French are like us anyway. Not very nice either, but uh, but yeah, it was all right. I've never had an issue, and I've been France on the bike. If you're all right with them, though, the, the, the thing is, just I think, I think it's cities. It's you, cities. If you're, if you're yeah. rural, if oh, I, those French if people. cities anywhere. <clears throat> do you just make sure you, you, you know, you do what you're supposed to be doing. Yeah, don't break the law, <laughs> basically, <laughs> and then you'd be fine. <laughs> well, but, I think that then would drain some of the fun away from your transcontinental <laughs> blasting so you it fast okay car. To, what you do? I'm not saying it's okay <laughs> to do it. It's what you do is you say if you want fun, then you save it for the autobahn track or the track. And then you can do whatever you want. There you go. You went the Nürburgring, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. But it was, I didn't go on because it was very greasy in the morning. And there's a lot of cars on there. And I'm thinking, I didn't want to, oh, I won't get home. <laughs> well, didn't want to bin it on the first corner well, then, pay know, a million euros for shutting the track down. Well, do you know what you have to pay? So if you crash damage, the car, yeah. Recovery, yeah. <clears throat> downtime for the track, don't you? Yeah. And then if you, let's just say you dump oil on the track and you cause three cars to crash. You've got to pay damn time. You've got to pay recovery. You've got to pay the barrier. You've got to pay clean up. The clean up. You've got to pay for your car that I've just damaged. I've got to pay for your car that's just been damaged. So, and you think to yourself. Hmm. So you followed him around long enough because it's a BMW. It <laughs> drop oil at some point. <laughs> now you could smash it in the barrier and claim a new car. <clears throat> it's just it could be a big expense that good, isn't it? it? Yeah, and you is know, it worth it? Yeah, I mean, we'll go again. Especially when you can go around in the ring taxi, can't you? I suppose if you yeah, want to go around the track. That's a good option. It really is. There's, there's quite a few options now, to be honest. It's just that there was lots of cars, and I think it's a greasy track. It only takes one person just to... It doesn't necessarily have to be you, does it? it doesn't, well, this is mm. what I mean. It just takes one person, just come around too fast. You know, you bump shit, and then you're in the barrier, and then... And then how do I get home? <laughs> it's, it's game over, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, so I'll leave it until, you know, next time we go. If, if it's sunny, then probably leave it till then but it was it was raining the night before and it was soaking but it wasn't soaking it was just very greasy that's even worse it's yeah mm. it's, um, it's better cars, sometimes being full wet isn't it yeah and cars were sliding off you know well, it was at least if it's full wet it sort of cleans mm. the track a bit as cars are getting around doesn't it yeah so no we'll leave it but it was it was just a great experience it really was so yeah sound so we've got a, an event coming up which we haven't done for a while have we yeah, so apart from our cars and coffee events, because uh, we have them all through the year, we're coming up 
with a, a really big event, aren't we? Uh, a summer event, what we usually have. Yeah, summer meet, basically. It's called Sizzle and Shine. So it's going to be on a Saturday evening, well, Saturday afternoon till Saturday evening. So it's going to be from 4 p.m. till 8 p.m. We're going to try and get some barbecue food going. Mm-hmm. Got an ice cream van coming up. Yeah, we've, we've, van. we've pre-ordered the weather, but, you know. To be fair, yeah. it was nice last year, wasn't it? It was lovely oh, you last time. You weren't here. It was lovely oh. last time we did it. Yeah, Mark wasn't here. I, was I think you'd gone away, hadn't you? I was in away. Yeah. yeah, I think you were away. Yeah. But yeah. now we uh, we were really surprised, weren't we? It was it, it was, was really popular. It was really busy. I just think, I think the weather was, was great. Four, four o'clock, the car park was full. Yeah, I just People think late up. August now, September, maybe beginning of October. That's when you get the good weather. Yeah, I think you know June. Yeah, July, we, we can hope. Forget it. <clears throat> well, look at the weather. We I mean, had. so far this month it's been horrendous, hasn't it? Basically, June. <clears throat> I mean, we've had what? It's only been starting this month where we've had the odd few days, and it's yeah. We've had a couple of warm days, haven't we? But then it can be yeah. like you know, twenty-five degrees one day, and then fourteen degrees the next day. Ridiculous, how like it's eleven degree down. drop. Yeah, and raining, and anyway. So we're, yeah, so we're having this big sizzle and shine meet. Uh, so everybody's uh, welcome. What day, yeah. sir? That is on the seventh of uh, September. Did you get that right? Are you on holiday again? No, I'm here. Are you sure? Yeah, I don't go till end of September. I'm here. Maybe it should be a good one. If praying for the weather, it should be a real good one. Because uh, we're going to do something a little bit different, aren't we? We're having some cars inside this time. Yeah, well, yeah. So we, we only discussed yesterday. Yeah. Well. Uh, yeah. But yeah. So we'd be looking for people to, you know, submit your cars. So if you have got something that's a little bit different, or you know, something that you know you're really proud of, highly modified, retro, you know, classic stuff like that. Um, we've got limited spaces, but we are going to be looking at displaying some of them vehicles inside the uh, the actual bay. <clears throat> so people are going to be displaying outside. But we're also going to have uh, a limited number of spaces for cars for inside display as well. Nice. So that be uh, that be a good event. That will we do uh, we do like a good event at Autobrite because it's just rammed. <laughs> you can't move. Yeah, there'll be prize giveaways. Music there will be. There will be. There will be a few Music. different things as well that we don't want to say too much. Food, but yeah, a few different things. Usually discount in the shop. Yeah, yeah. As, as normal. So it's definitely worth popping down. Mm. Definitely, definitely. So looking forward to that. Plus, it's a Saturday evening, so you can get all your shopping and all your stuff, all your normal crap done in the That's day. Well, this is it, isn't it? Yeah. You know, you do stuff on a while. Mm-hmm. I mean, Call around for tea. work on Saturdays, you know, uh, and then it's the kids' day and it's Sunday shopping, mm-hmm. bits and bobs. But the Saturday evening, I think it's, you've done that. You know, you've done that bit. Or you finish work or whatever. It's time for... Yeah, so Chill, Saturday evening. I mean, you know, yeah. we've done it. We've done it a couple of times now, where we've done an evening meet, and it's it's been really popular with people. Uh, I think people do like to have the full day to do the stuff, mm. and then think, well, actually, we'll nip out oh, for a couple of hours. Yeah. You know, it was like that in the evening because they were hanging around for you know had a lot of people sort of hanging around and talking right up until sort of yeah. finished, didn't we? It was like that though, years ago. It's still as now. You know, you you go out you know, if you. In the car culture, you've got your car. Uh, yeah, it's basically how our, night, our yeah. meet started, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, you go you know, down local. When we did the Fezzi Park reunion thing, exactly, that yeah, was yeah. that was where that idea came from, yeah. the fact that, you know, you'd hang around at night in your cars with your mates, this is it. talking, not racing. Yeah, of course. Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> so that'll be a, a good event, that will. So uh, you got be more look, info on that coming yeah, up. Yeah, there'll be yeah. more info on our social media and various bits of water, right? So... Keep a, keep a look out for that. Very spit. Awesome. What's next then, Kev? <laughs> I love how you keep coming back to me. I didn't know about this podcast till about <laughs> 20 minutes ago. Or 20 ah, minutes no, before no, no, we started. No. We were all sent an email. Yeah. Reese says we were all sent an email. <laughs> I haven't got one. I, I, I actually got it. Mielina hasn't got one. It's he only come into the shop earlier on. He says, you ready to do the podcast? Did you go, what? Uh, oh, yeah. Hey? I, about that. <laughs> I didn't. I was like, what <coughs> podcast? I remember we were talking about one yesterday. Yeah. But I thought, well, it can't be that one because we uh, only discussed yesterday. Uh, so I want to mention a few things. Uh, obviously, we do a lot of services here at Autobright Direct. Uh, we do a lot of detailing. We do a lot of training. I know the next trading course, sorry, our group trading course, Back to Basics, is on the 17th of August. I think so. Yeah. He asked me for the exact date. I think it's 17th of August <sighs> and we've got one place left. So. Woohoo. If you want it, if you want to come, then uh, yeah, take that last place. And well, again, that to be fair, that's 
quite surprising for us because August is normally people are going away on holiday. Yeah, this is you know. this is why I, I thought I'd mention mm. talk because kids away and whatever. Last place, but uh, I'm, I'm hoping the weather will be good as well. So Talking yeah. of services and other things as well, obviously we've got Dan out on the professional van now, the trade van. He's doing yes. really well. Yep. So yes. again, if, you, if you're in the trade and you want to uh, have a look at what we do, get in touch with Dan or myself. Yeah, and we can yeah. uh, guide you in the right direction. Yeah, if you're a uh, if you're a detailer, validator, if you uh, if you're at a garage, car sales, whatever kind of industry you're in, the professional range would certainly uh, benefit you. Great prices, great products. I mean, if you're local to the Staffordshire area, Dan can come out and see you and talk you through it. If you're a little bit further afield, he still may possibly come out, but if not, we can always ship it out and, you know, take your order over email or set your account up online. Yeah, you need a visit from Dan because, you know, Dan rocking up in that van is it's like, it's like a mobile showroom, and it? it's it, it's epic, that van is. Yeah. Very, very proud of that van, and uh, Dan would love to uh, come see you. Unless you're in Wick, and then I don't think he'll be coming to see you then. Wick? <laughs> Where? Oh, top end of Scotland. Geography's not our strong no, suit. No, 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 no. You did the NC five hundred. Yeah, you? I did, but I can't remember Wick. I probably just it was one of them. I was in the mini. I was either broke down or just going. <laughs> or he was deaf and oh, you, yeah. threw, you threw Wick. Get to John O'Groats thing. He was deaf, nearly blind. <laughs> I remember <laughs> high on petrol fumes. There you go. I remember. <laughs> yeah. uh, was it to Glen Glencoe? Um, did, you, did you go through there? Yeah, yeah. With all them mountains. Yeah, so yeah. That was yeah, lovely. spectacular, that was. All he remembers is the whiskey. I all I remember is he absolutely lashed it down for five days and I was on my bike. <coughs> we ate a little bit we had too much. sunny day. We went uh, just after COVID and it was just, the weather was glorious. It was brilliant. Thanks for that. <laughs> just thought I'd get that. I mean, that West Coast, the beaches are lovely, aren't they, up there? But it would have been in a car not, with that not, air conditioning. Not, not when so it was raining there. Might have been sweltering. Oh, it was, it was fine though because it was, you know... It, I mean, it was hot. Were you nice and dry? Yeah, it was lovely, lovely and dry. Just arm at the windy. Just took me back to the. To, to be the fair, it days, probably wasn't you know. much comfier than you were there. No, no. You come back. <laughs> like, that, that His back was brick. <laughs> back was an off. Not it's as bad as that time he come back when he'd been away in the Porsche. Oh, yeah. yeah he didn't weird. drive it for like a he month. Didn't drive it he, he ate it, didn't <laughs> yeah. it for a month. Box over there. The <laughs> Left it alone. <laughs> and then sold it. Do you want it washing, Mark? No. Leave it. Oh yeah, that was, crawled yeah. out a broken man from that one. Oh, I was, yeah. I was. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Dan's on the professional van. So uh, get in touch if you need any uh, professional products. We've got, well, a great, we've got a great range. Uh, we are actually booked services again. We're actually booked up now until I think it's late September, October now for services in the bay. So. Are you uh, talking about the new services that we soon be not offering yet. or not yet? Not yet. No, I'm not going to tell them about that just yet. But there is a new service coming to Autobike. Which is, uh, but don't forget as well, we will soon be offering winter protection style packages. You no, know, honestly, how quick does it come around? It, yeah, it's, it's, it's mental ridiculous. how quick it's gone this year, yeah. It's ridiculous. Like, doesn't seem five minutes since we were last doing winter yeah, protection no. packages, does it? No, no, no. Halloween soon. <laughs> Somebody said to you. Yeah, and think, then it's I, the big C. I think it, I think it was... You were the, the said this last week, two weeks, or whatever it was. It's Christmas soon. But then, yeah, all right, whatever. But then you think about it and you think, wow. It's Christmas soon. It is Christmas soon. <laughs> There's only like 17 Mondays left until yeah. Christmas or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then you start thinking about Christmas and what we do. The problem is Christmas. it's when you start looking at what mm. we need to plan coming up. So like, you know, the summer meeting, Halloween and stuff like that. And you think, once you've actually done them, then, you start then it will be Christmas. Yeah. You start planning for Christmas. Yeah. About, oh, what are we going to do? Mm. Uh, what are we going to do? I don't know, yeah. I'll do something good. <laughs> <laughs> We've got some ideas for Christmas. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, so services are booked up. There is a new service coming to Autobike Direct, so we'll uh, we'll tell you that soon. Yep. Uh, when it's all confirmed and done. Mm -hmm. uh, is there anything else that we want to talk about? Oh, yeah. So there's, They can't see that, but They can't yeah. see that, but I'll, I'll, it I'll show you. the floor. There's... Obviously at Autobrite, you know, we do a lot of things. We do a lot of different products. We do a lot of different products for different companies. They're bespoke products, you know. We do make a lot of products in-house now as well, which is which is really good. Uh, but one project that we've been recently doing was is for the tyre company. I'll just show you this. It's called Kumo Tyres. I'm going to get some cheap tyres. Probably not. <laughs> uh, so we... 
we were contacted by Kumo Tires that wanted a, a lovely car care kit that they could present to their customers, uh, which contains three bottles. So we did a lovely box, which is... Uh, Funny if it's not on camera, won't it? Yeah, <laughs> it is there. He thinks he's on camera, which yeah, is just twiddling they, his hands in the air. can see that box, so lovely box. It's like the worst QVC advert. <laughs> <haven't they? laughs> uh, just let me uh, get these products. If it was a QVC advert, he'd have to keep saying the same thing every 20 seconds for the next, like, 12 hours. Yeah, and then we could turn him off. Uh, and we've got three products in the, in the box as well. So popular products, purple velvets, crystal, and citrus wash. So they are three products in that box. In that You'd case. think there'd be a tire dressing in there, wouldn't you? You know. Mm, <laughs> not necessarily. Not necessarily. Tire manufacturers don't like tire dressings. They, yeah, they don't like tire dressings. So. Okay. It was it was mentioned. It was mentioned, but they, they wanted uh, products to, to clean, basically. Fair enough. So yeah, so we do that as well at Autobronics. So if anybody wants anything doing bespoke, we can uh, we can look at this uh, for you. We do various different bits and bobs, don't we? Don't yeah, we've done a lot in the past, haven't we? Yeah, for we've different had, we've had quite a lot of collaborations, haven't we, with people mm-hmm. on the box. Yeah, we yeah, we do. <clears throat> Obviously we do our own box kits, don't we, from now? Yeah. From yeah. Uh, you know, from time and again as well. Yeah, we do a uh, a little uh, kit for uh gaming chairs. As well, yeah, for noble, yeah, mm-hmm. uh, like a cleaning and protection yep. kit for gaming chairs, as well. So yeah, we do bits and bobs. So if you want uh, any kind of kit doing, then get in touch. Cool. Better put these down, or else I'll, I'll drop these. You will knock them <laughs> off. Yeah, they'll go everywhere. Yeah, and then we will laugh. Yeah. Okay. So you know what we were talking about earlier, like we used to do a pamp fact, but we've run out of pamp facts. So, what do you think we should do next? Let us know. I don't know. Drop in the we, comments. We, we've, yeah. we've mined the uh, we've mined the pant facts till just there's none of, remaining. We've killed it. Breaking it up a bit. Literally. Just kind of break it up with it. Uh, I do like facts, though. Yeah. I do like facts. But you got to make them funny, aren't you? Well, so yeah. If suppose. anyone's got any ideas on what we can bring to the table, let us know. <clears throat> just a general knowledge. What do you reckon, Kev? Fact or something. You know what I reckon? I already mentioned it earlier. Balls. Oh, we should be talking balls. talking balls. Talking balls. Because that opens up a massive range Bo- of things. Ball balls, so. tennis balls. Golf balls. <laughs> Testy balls. <laughs> Airy balls. Airy, Airy balls, balls yeah. let's see. Airy balls. <clears throat> a plan without drawbacks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Except maybe the content of what we're talking about like could be a drawback. Why don't you like to explain what Airy <laughs> balls is, just in case people don't know, Kev? I'm sure everyone knows what Airy balls are. Yeah, I mean, what, it is. What if they don't? <laughs> So Hairy Balls was a range of special edition products that we do. Um, for, uh, they are specifically scented, so the mint chocolate scented. We did a snow foam, a QD. Did we do anything else? Yeah. What's the other one? Snow foam, shampoo, and QD. Shampoo, yeah. It's been a while since we <laughs> talked epic. about Hairy Balls, to be we fair. were really <laughs> epic smelling. They we were really epic smelling, and everyone really loved the marketing and the, you know, the fact that I think we... Took it a little bit out there compared to what our normal yeah we did comfort yeah. zone is. Well, didn't we start it off as a April Fool? We did, and yeah. We just yeah. brought it out, didn't we? Yeah. And everyone was like talking about it. April Fools. Oh, I wish it was real. Ah, uh-huh. <laughs> fooled you. We've got customers it was real. Coming in and asking for some airy balls, which yep. is quite uh, <laughs> quite weird. Hi, mate. Have you got any airy balls? Yeah. Can I see uh, your hairy balls? Uh, don't know where I go with that one. <laughs> Surprisingly, uh, none of the... Uh, what what, do you, what does your airy balls smell like? <laughs> well. <laughs> Depends on the weather, really. <laughs> <laughs> Moving mint, on. Mint chocolate, of course. Of course. Of course, that's what they smell like. Yeah, it was. It, they were lovely as well, weren't they? they yeah. Were really, uh, really good. We like doing special editions. Yeah. I love special editions. I'm sure editions. there'll be something else out. I'm sure there will Especially off be. the wall stuff we like doing as well. Mm, I'm sure there'll be something else. Uh, we've got some... New stuff coming out anyway, aren't we? I mean, Obviously we, we <laughs> spoke about the waxes. We've got an, uh, we've got plenty of ideas. It's just whether, whether or not, we can. It's just whether or not we can are actually they a little bit close to the bone, Kev. Very close. You know, to the I, bone I saw, yeah. I saw some. Uh, was it another detailing company? I'm sure it was, and they bought a a ball soap out. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> an it actual ball, ball soap. Yeah, soap. Did they also do a ball toner to go with it? Didn't see that, but <laughs> ball, ball soap, soap. Yeah. and it was 
for washing so it on. Do you have like for washing your undercarriage? A ball sponge or a ball net then? What to? Oh, do you have one of them things like what you put golf balls in? On the sack? Like a test of QZ. Test of QZ. <clears throat> That'd be more for like a drain towel, would it, Kev? Yeah. <coughs> a test of QZ then with a blow dryer. Yeah. Oh, blow dryer attachment. Dear. That'd be cool. Sorry about this. I really am. <sighs> Well, like I say, talking Which, balls, see? Look at all the, look at all the conversation that, that, that opened up then. That might be a feature then. Yeah. Talking balls. Yeah. That, yeah. Cause Cause just I mean, don't ask me for any hour. football facts because I'm not into football. Yeah, so. like, it could be anything. Couldn't it? You could go a bit risque and then you could dial it back a bit and do what you want with that, can't you? It'll always be risque. <laughs> yeah, probably will be, actually. <laughs> talking balls coming soon. Yeah. Yeah, next podcast. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <clears throat> I think we'll be back with the podcast, then, won't we, now? Yeah, yeah. We've got... Uh, uh, Kind of some special guests coming mm-hmm. uh, on a podcast very soon, which I'm quite excited about, to be honest. That'll, that'll be really good, that will. Cool. Uh, if anybody, uh, I'm not going to mention them, but, you know, the local lads, yep. uh, you've got a business at the minute, <clears throat> they're doing well, uh, and I'd love to hear their story. So yeah, that'll be cool. Be, that'll be really cool. We're going to do some upcoming collaborations with them all yeah, as well. Yeah, so. we're going to do some stuff with them as well, so that'll be, uh, that'll be really cool. Again, you know. Local businesses supporting other local businesses. This is it. Yeah. This is, it. This is what we're And they're, they're nice guys as well, aren't they? Yeah. 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 They're one of them a they, long they, time as well. Yeah, they, they're definitely on our wavelengths, put it that way. You know, some interesting conversations yesterday. Oh, didn't we, Josh? <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's that's upcoming. I like the the inter- interview style uh, podcast, to be honest. We've done yeah. a couple now, and, then, and we need more of them. Because uh, I'd love to hear a story, you know, if somebody's doing something or... Uh, been su- successful or whatever I'd, I'd love to hear that story. doing something you shouldn't be doing that's only a good story no, no. <laughs> but uh, but yeah uh, I'm looking forward to that coolio so anything else we've I got don't, I think that was everything wasn't it I don't think there is anything else uh, we've got a lot of exciting stuff coming up I know from now till Christmas it's going to be busy. It's going to be busy. We've yeah. got a lot of things. A lot of new stuff coming in. We've got a lot of things that we want to show you as well, which is really exciting for us. Uh, yeah. Services, new this, products, new services, new products, new services. Uh, there is a lot of stuff that we want to show you, so uh, just well, you're gonna have to keep wait. On watching, you're gonna have to wait, <laughs> unfortunately. Just keep on watching our socials. Well, you won't have to wait longer than Mark because he won't be able to help yourself. No, I've already, already <laughs> dropped, the, dropped the waxes today, so yeah, he's already dropped a clanger. Yeah, well, I did that to be fair. Well, you did that, <laughs> yeah, it's your fault. <laughs> they threw everybody under, under the bus when Reese is editing this podcast. You're like, oh, really. <laughs> Taking the thunder uh, out of the sales now. So yeah, we we don't want to. We're not going to say anything else about any any other products, are we? No, that's it. Leave it, leave it, leave it to that. So mouth is goes. zipped. No more. Right then, is that it? Can uh, you think of anything else? Have you got anything on your pad? It's nearly the end time. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> no. no, starving. There's only got like four things there. <laughs> Auntie got nothing. It's just a blank page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's making it look like he's reading <laughs> stuff here. No, so it's written massive. What you having for your... So it fills up big space. What are you having for your tea tonight, Dale? Um, oh, I'll it quick tonight. It's got to paint my bathroom roof. Ceiling. Uh, chippy. So, better get some tall ladders. Yes. Yeah, sandwich or something. What's, what's your favourite takeaway? Oh. Mm, I don't know. Pizza or Chinese? What about Chinese care? pizza? What, what, what are you having for tea tonight? No clue. No. no, you're obviously having something fantastic, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even know, actually. See, <laughs> I don't even know. Uh, it might be a takeaway tonight, actually. I think. Well, then, what are you having? Well, I don't mind a Chinese, I don't, but it all depends where you get it from. Yeah, it's got to be because a nice Chinese. There's a lot of Chinese food from that I've experienced. Is it a slop? No, greasy. No, everything tastes the same. If you know it all what I mean, tastes like fish. Yeah. Or yeah, like ginger. They use yeah. fish oil there, don't they? And fish oil and ginger. And the chicken oh, sometimes is chicken questionable. Be, yeah. It's questionable. You know, it's, <clears throat> yeah, but if you find a nice nice Chinese, then... The, I mean, the, again, it, I think it depends on what you're having. Cause it's, it does. There's certain places I go for certain dishes. It does. Kev goes three Chinese <laughs> when they have one. I do. <laughs> See, when, when I used to live down Kev's neck of the woods, the, the what was it, the one that doesn't deliver... Tung Shing. Oh, Tung Shing. Yeah. yeah. I always used to go Doesn't that deliver and doesn't take card. <laughs> like living the Stone Age. <laughs> but they do nice food. Yeah. But only certain food. things. Yeah. It's just the quality, I think. It's the quality of Chinese. I mean, they've, they've been there for 
I'm going, it must have been there for 30, 40 years. Yeah, yeah. See, I found one up at Arasiad. That's really nice. So I had one on New Wing. Wing know. summit. Wing Hing. We go up. Wing Hing uh, Ding Hing. I was recommended by it and it was nice. Yeah. We yeah. go up late now. He's, his name is uh, Mr. Vong. <laughs> is he wrong? <laughs> Mr. Vong. Mr. Vong's. Uh, well, right, yeah. Sorry, I thought I'd go for Chinese. We used to go a Chinese and me because we had it once and we used to babysit for my sister. When me, me cousin was Where was little, now? Beijing. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> so I used to drive from kids' group to meet you for Chinese. It'd be cold by the time you get there. It know. wasn't though. It was always warm when I got You know why he does that? Because he's got time. Eat a quick one on the way back <laughs> before he gets back to the nurses. Well, I used to drive back at reasonable speeds. Uh, yeah. With it in the footwell, with the heaters on full whack. So like, I get them back and I'd be yeah, dying. But fine when yeah. you have a takeaway and you end your car the next day. It, it stinks. stinks. Yeah. But maybe that's just the scent we could should come out with. Yeah. Takeaway scent. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, no fish. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, chips. No. I, think, I find chips the worst. Like if you've been the chippy the day before yeah, and you just, get in your car, it stinks of yeah. chips. It's like, it's like yeah, when you, uh, it's well. like with the Chinese chips. You know, they're just soggy. They're just soggy and yeah. they're, they're not very warm. And it's like. <laughs> they're always just like frozen fries or whatever, yeah, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, yeah. Um, I, think, I think my favourite takeaway is it's got to be an Indian. It's got to be. Yeah, but I like to go to restaurants if, if I'm having a curry. Yeah, they, all, yeah, they, they do. Because fine, they finally all, great. Indian takeaway isn't easy, aren't they? No. Well, there's one around the corner from us, uh, and, you know, that kind of taste and whatever, when you when you go to somewhere, it's, you know, it's not far off, to be honest. It's really nice food. <laughs> so It's just around the corner as well. Not like, you know, 200 miles away. <laughs> I think it's everywhere. That's for you, though, anyway. You live. Yeah, yeah. I was looking on Uber Eats the other day. And you know, the, you know the, the Chinese round the corner, the Indian round the corner, and that's it. And that's it. <laughs> right, brilliant choice. We haven't got much choice, have we? Really, <clears throat> but twenty takeaways down one street. Yeah, a couple of streets away, there's another two, we and could, then we'd probably walk to five minutes up the road. There's another two or three. Actually, I saw a, a uh, uh, what is it now? Do uh, checking uh, a restaurant that's opened up. No, any of me. Of Caribbean sort Caribbean of style. Caribbean kind of style, jerk chicken and whatever. What's like, that? Chicken and peas. I, I don't, I'm not sure where it is now, but it's a million miles from where I am. So it's going to be like, you know, in the car. And But I love that kind of style. About pizza, you must be able to get pizza. Yeah, you can get Domino's, yeah, but. Oh, I don't, I'm a fan of Domino's. I'm not a fan. I used to like Domino's, but <clears> now <throat> I'd, I'd rather have it, like a, if you go like a takeaway and have their pizza. Like a kebab pizza or yeah. something? Yeah. Like, you well, know, to be honest, kids room, <clears throat> pizza, pizzas are really nice. I mean, if it's a pizza, we go leak, and uh, there's like a restaurant type. You thing. got a Caprino? Is it Caprino's? No, no I, I don't like any. I don't like them, mates. Hey, I've never tried them. <clears throat> I don't like them. I'm them. Not like a Papa John's, anyway, close. So yeah, small yeah. Like. It's either, Papa John's not bad, I don't It's like either that. that or the one, this kind of, you know, this Italian in, in leak that does takeaway pizzas. Oh, nice. uh, but Domino's is just a hit and miss for me. I don't like I'm not a fan. It's just so greasy a lot of times. I'd rather go Asda and have one of their pizzas than Domino's. Yeah. When it? So would I. Yeah. It's finally dead expensive as well, Domino's. You know, there's five of you. You know, it's... The it's only time expensive. it's redeeming, it redeems itself is when they got their offers on. Yeah. Then you think it's actually not too bad, as it's... Yeah. Especially, like, say, if you're buying for kids as well, you think, okay, it's, you know, buy one pizza, get one half price or whatever. It's not so bad then. Of course, I like a kebab as well. The non bread kebab. I don't have donut meat, I have chicken meat. I have chicken. And I have, like, loads chicken, of... Chicken kebab. Uh, salad and whatever, and... Well, you have it in garlic naan bread, don't you? Yeah, loads of sauces and salad and chili sauce and whatever. I always, I always think that's the healthier option rather than the. You know. <laughs> you'll have the chicken. Can I have that sauce on <laughs> yeah. that sauce? Well, can you put me a push the donut meat on? It, it's the healthier <laughs> option. Can I have it? Yeah, half a gallon of mayonnaise, please, mate. <laughs> but no, or at I, least, well, I'm going to say at least you know what it is. You don't exactly know what it is, but at least you've got an idea of what the meat might be. Yeah. However, if you've been out drinking, it's a different story. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So what? Well, <coughs> Donna meat and chips is. Do you know the you amount go. of times that I used to go out and go back in Hanley and go back to uh, a kebab house with Donna meat and chips? The amount of times I did that. Yeah. It must have been every well, every, Saturday did, every, every weekend. It just tastes better when you're drunk, though, doesn't it, Donna yeah, it's meat? It's great. Brilliant. Loads of mayonnaise. Mm. So brilliant. Loved it. <sighs> Get them, get them. It's weird when you're having to it all low and you <clears> get up <throat> the next morning, it's all white. We, so we said this it, before. It's like uh, sort of moving across the kitchen table. When it's like sort of doing that, <laughs> trying to crawl away. Oh. You have to stab it with your fork. Come back. It screeches, it screeches at you. 
So we'd have an alien movie. Uh, yeah, it does not look nice the next day. Anyway, if you love kebab, kebabs, then <laughs> great. Yeah, sorry, guys. If you like Donovan. I've had Donovan for years. <laughs> it's, it's just, I don't know. It's lovely. It's Turkish lovely. food's lovely. It really, really is. Is it the gyros that they do? The gyro, uh, where they have that pita bread and they put all the kebab meat in and whatever. That's lovely, that is. Well, that's Greece. That's Greece, I think. But, mm. uh, but the Turkish food's lo- lovely. It really is, but. Yeah, it's all, it's there's a reason why there's no cats around <laughs> or dogs. I think it's when you when you're twenty and on the lash, you don't think about cholesterol. You, you think all the adult stuff, do you? you but when you get older, you're like, mm. all you care about is if you've got enough money for drink and your kebab. Yeah, you don't you even know. care if you haven't got money for a taxi. Home, do you? I was just going to say that. Yeah. As long as yeah. you've got money for a taxi, as long as you can get some food. Because <laughs> yeah, because you're sober up by the time you get home. Yeah, I can walk home. Yeah. It's only like you know it's an hour and a half yeah. walk. Yeah. It's only four hours. Yeah, I I never forget. You know, I it's went always out. a good idea when you're drunk, isn't it? I went walk out, home. Yeah, went out with my mate years and years ago, and we had this. It was like a do at Keel University, and uh, I lived at Burslem at the time, and I had to walk. I didn't have no money, nothing. I was going to say, did you have to walk or did you think it was a good idea? No, I didn't have no money. But so. you had no coat on either, did you? No, no just a shirt. <laughs> you never went with a coat my on. Because we were absolutely leathered. And my mate says, we'll have to, we'll have to walk. Yeah, right, no problem. Jesus. I, f- I fell over this bush as well. <laughs> and I got like, loads of bush marks all over. <laughs> was so. it like the never ending so, What did you then go down to like, we'll, we'll stand in that way and then up. Yeah, yeah. Down Port Hill Bank. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It took me, it took us ages. Absolutely. Coming live by the time you get home. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I didn't get in until about five. But <clears throat> things you do, eh, when you're younger. I remember walking home from Trenton once when I lived in Newcastle. It was Teddy's, remember t- you won't know, Teddy's Bar. You remember? Teddy's It'd Bar. It would be like a disco thing on a Friday night, Teddy's no, Bar. No. I mean, my mate walked all the way across the A34. Freezing as well. Yeah, yeah. Shirt on. Because they close that to nightclub now and only, aren't they? The last one. What well, used to be liquid or whatever it was called I'm after not, that? I don't I'm know. not sure. It's c- no, it's across from the, uh, the, uh, the Italian restaurant. <coughs> the bottom of Back of it's at the stage door where that is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I forget what it was called, but they closed that now. Mm-hmm. So the, well, no, there is no now life, and, and there hasn't been for years, has it? But it's hardly any. Na- uh, Covid any hand- definitely finished that off. There's, there's hardly any handy left <laughs> at the minute, is there? We used to queue like <clears> on the car park, then we at valleys. It's, just, it's, it's a real, don't get me into this, because I've got really strong views about this, about Hanley and Burslem, how it's just going to ruin. Because I grew up... Well, and Newcastle, yeah, all the same. We grew up in Burslem. I mean, what it's, you know, been left to now horrible. is just... It's horrible. It really is. But anyway. Well, you know, we're, we're famous for the six towns, aren't we? Still on trends, do you know what I mean? Pottery. We oh, are, well, yeah, gone. we are famous for that, but that's not what well, we're, we're not famous, famous for, for that anymore. anymore. Not <laughs> anymore, no. But you know what I mean. With these six towns, you know, they, they all used to be affluent. I can remember they were booming years you know, ago. Like, say, you just go Burslem, and the market was packed. And then my nanny used to mm-hmm. drive me down Longton, and that was for a change of scenery, and that yeah, was packed. That was packed, yeah. You know, his market, Vale Market, Vale yeah. Market, yeah. You know, and it's just, it's all gone. It's not there anymore. You know, they're all like this, aren't they? Where we are now, they're all retail <clears> parks, aren't yeah. they? We well, used to go up Hanley, even if you were drinking uh, on a night, you know, you used to go up Hanley in the day. It was absolutely heaving. We used to go up Hanley every, every weekend. Every, every weekend. Saturday. Well, look at the shopping yeah. centre. You go do some shopping, you go to the pottery centre, you know, do some shopping, then you go have some, you go probably go to McDonald's, have some to eat, then you come home and you get ready, and then you go back out. You're back up Hanley at night. There was a, there was a what's the name? There was a, a question on Stoke on Trent Live page the other day about Hanley and what to do. You know, to say, try and save it. Someone say bulldoze it, start again. No, 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 no. And I have me two, two pennies worth, but there's a lot of good ideas there, but, you know, can, cancel up. Free parking for a start. Yeah. Well, well done, that's what kills it. And they've done something mm. with that car park now. You know that one that they just built? That oh, the new one. one. Mm. Yeah, they've done, they've lowered the prices in there or something now, haven't they? I don't know. Something like that. But yeah, free parking. The thing is, there. that one's quite far away from everything, isn't it? It's yeah, not it like... Really. Because the, obviously mm. the main car park is the property centre. Mm. So if they made that free park, even if it was like just for two hours, two hours free park. I think if they made it free park, and then obviously the the property centre, whoever owns the property centre, would have to put the prices and the leases up, and then you drive more trade out, wouldn't you? Then so it's a catch twenty two. <laughs> people aren't going. Obviously, free parking would encourage more people to go, but then let's well, everyone who works down there as well. The park on there, then once it? mm. it's like he says, yeah. But then you know you've got businesses just leaving. You know, potty shopping centre. 
Because big businesses leaving, aren't they? Yeah. Well, that's because no one goes into the city centre. So it's the issue, well, isn't it? Yeah, but it needs cleaning up as well, doesn't it? Because there's other issues, aren't there? Well, oh yeah, I yeah, mean, you know, if you go to, I mean, I've been up the Potty Centre a few times. So if you drive into the Potty Centre, you park there and you shop. It's not so bad. But if you ever park anywhere else and you walk, you walk into like the top end of Antley where, mm. you know, like Argos used to be, where Wilco's used to be. It's, it's, just, it's just it's just a not a nice place to walk now, is it? No. You, but know, don't, you don't feel safe, do you? No. And that's Sometimes. and that is shame. Part of the problem. Part of the big problem, I think, with places like that now. You don't feel safe. <laughs> anyway. If you can walk around here, it's <clears> lovely. <throat> yeah, it's nice, Danny. Yeah. 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 Anyway, is that it then? Are we are we done? Are we finished? Yeah, before, before, before we get into anything, anything, now, aren't we? Before we get yeah. into anything more controversial. Yeah. yeah, let's let's stop it there or else. Okay. <laughs> Loads of complaints. Anyway, so, so we'll uh, be back soon with another podcast. Yeah, we'll be back soon. Uh, the next podcast sooner will be, than this soon. Yeah, we'll be our special guests. Yes. So we're looking forward to that. We hope you're going to join us on that as well. So that'll be really, really good. So we'll catch you on the next podcast. Have a great rest of your week. Yeah, enjoy the rest of the week. Thanks for watching. Thanks for or watching, listening. and we'll uh, we'll see you soon. See you soon, guys.